Hello everyone, welcome to Current Affair MCQ's program. Let's begin with previous day's practice question. Question was, which of the following are advantages of photonic computing? 1. Minimal junction heating. 2. Immune to electromagnetic interference. 3. Provides low loss transmission. 4. Easy to develop photonic crystals. Select the correct answer using the codes given below. 1, 3 and 4. 2, 3 and 4. 1, 2 and 4 or 1, 2 and 3. The correct answer is option D, 1, 2 and 3. Advantages of photonic computing are minimal junction heating, dynamic scaling and reconfigurability into smaller or larger networks or topologies. Not prone to electrical short circuits and immune to electromagnetic interference, provides low loss transmission and a lot of bandwidth. Disadvantages of photonic computing are, it's hard to develop photonic crystals and due to the interaction of several signals, computation is a complex process. Hence, option D is the correct answer. Now, let's begin today's session. First question is, the term fraud stack is sometimes seen in the news in the context of wildlife trafficking, cyber attack where hackers manipulate public USB charging ports to steal data, Bank accounts controlled by crime cartels without their owners being aware of their identities being misused or 3D printing technology in biomedical research. The correct answer is option C. Bank accounts controlled by crime cartels without their owners being aware of their identities being misused. Fraud stacking involves a large number of bank accounts controlled by crime cartels without their owners being aware of their identities being misused. It occurs when an applicant applies and is approved for multiple loans within a few days or even a few hours, allowing the fraudster to collect and disappear before the lender recognizes the deception. The information used for these loans are typically not the fraudster's true identity but compromised data they have stolen or purchased. Hence, option C is the correct answer. Next question is, consider the following statements. 1. Universal Service Obligation Fund, that is USOF, is referred to as Bharat Nidhi in the Telecom Act 2023. 2. The Office of the Administrator of USOF is an attached office of the Department of Telecommunications, Ministry of Information and Broadcasting. 3. USOF's Telecom Technology Development Fund scheme enables affordable broadband and mobile services in rural and remote areas. Which of the statements given above is or are correct? 1 and 2 only, 2 only, 3 only or 1 and 3 only? The correct answer is option D, 1 and 3 only. The Telecom Act 2023 renamed the Universal Service Obligation Fund as Digital Bharat Nidhi. Hence, statement 1 is correct. The Universal Service Obligation Fund is headed by the administrator, USO Fund, who is appointed by the central government for the administration of the fund. It is an attached office of the Department of Telecommunications, Ministry of Communications. Hence, Statement 2 is not correct. USOF launched the Telecom Technology Development Fund, that is TTDF scheme, for domestic companies and institutions involved in technology design, development, commercialization of telecommunication products and solutions to enable affordable broadband and mobile services in rural and remote areas. Hence, Statement 3 is correct. Hence, Option D is the correct answer. Next question is consider the following statements about the moon. 1. The moon, that is the only natural satellite of Earth, has its own day and night cycle, which lasts about 29.5 Earth days. 2. The moon has more gravitational force than Earth. Which of the statements given above is or are correct? 1 only, 2 only, both 1 and 2 or neither 1 nor 2. The correct answer is option A, 1 only. The moon has its own day and night cycle which lasts about 29.5 Earth days. Hence, statement 1 is correct. Currently, the time on the moon is measured using universal time coordination which is the same time keeping system used on the Earth. The moon has a lesser gravitational force than Earth. Compared to Earth, time on the moon moves 58.7 microseconds quicker every day. Hence, statement 2 is not correct. Hence, option A is the correct answer. Next question is consider the following statements regarding Higgs boson. 1. The Higgs boson, an elementary particle akin to electrons or quarks, plays a crucial role in imparting mass to other fundamental particles. 2. The Higgs boson was experimentally discovered in 2012 at the Large Hadron Collider at CERN. Which of the statements given above is or are not correct? 1. Only 2. Only both 1 and 2 or neither 1 nor 2. The correct answer is option D. Neither 1 nor 2. That is, both the statements are correct. 
The Higgs boson, an elementary particle akin to electrons or quarks, plays a crucial role in imparting mass to other fundamental particles. Hence, statement 1 is correct. Peter Higgs first proposed the existence of the Higgs field and the associated Higgs boson in the 1960s. The Higgs boson was experimentally discovered in 2012 at the Large Hadron Collider at CERN, the European Organization for Nuclear Research. Hence, statement 2 is correct. Hence, option D is the correct answer. Next question is, consider the following statements regarding cicadas. 1. Cicadas are mammals that belong to the order Hemipatera and the superfamily Cicadoidea. 2. They spend most of their lives underground and emerge from the soil mainly to mate. 3. The genetic diversity of cicadas in India and Bangladesh ranks the highest globally, followed by China. Which of the following statements is or are correct? 1 only, 1, 2 and 3. 2 and 3 or 1 and 2? The correct answer is option C, 2 and 3. Cicadas are insects that belong to the order Hemipatera and the superfamily Cicadoidea. Hence, statement 1 is not correct. Hemipateran insects, also called true bugs, have mouth parts used for piercing and sucking and have two pairs of wings. They spend most of their lives underground and emerge from the soil mainly to mate. And statement 2 is correct. Once out of the ground, their lifespan is fairly short, somewhere between 2 to 4 weeks. Most cicadas are canopy dwellers and are found in the natural forest with large trees found in every continent except Antarctica. The genetic diversity of cicadas in India and Bangladesh ranks the highest globally, followed by China. Hence, statement 3 is correct. Hence, option C is the correct answer. Next question is, consider the following statements about invasive alien species. 1. These organisms are introduced to regions or ecosystems outside their native range and have established self-sustaining populations. 2. Lantana camera and Prosopis juliflora are some of the invasive alien species found in the Nilgiri Biosphere Reserve. Which of the above statements is or are correct? Only 1, only 2, both 1 and 2 or neither 1 nor 2. The correct answer is option C, both 1 and 2. Invasive alien species are introduced to regions or ecosystems outside their native range and have established self-sustaining populations. Hence, statement 1 is correct. Many invasive alien species were intentionally introduced for perceived benefits in sectors such as forestry, agriculture, horticulture, aquaculture and as pets. The water hyacinth ranks as the world's most widespread invasive alien species on land. Lantana camera, Prosopis juliflora and Chromalina odorata are some of the invasive alien species present in the Nilgiri Biosphere Reserve in the Western Ghats. Hence, statement 2 is correct. Hence, option C is the correct answer. Next question is, the term new collective quantified goal is sometimes seen in the news in the context of Pledges made by the European countries to rehabilitate refugees from the war-affected Ukraine. Plan of action outlined by the countries of the world to combat climate change. Capital contributed by the member countries in the establishment of Asian Development Bank. Or plan of action outlined by the countries of the world regarding sustainable development goals. The correct answer is option B. Plan of action outlined by the countries of the world to combat climate change. The new collective quantified goal is a new annual financial target that developed countries must meet from the 2025 onward to provide climate finance to developing countries for combating climate change. It will replace the previous commitment of 100 billion US dollars per year that developed nations had pledged in 2009. Hence, option B is the correct answer. Next question is consider the following statements regarding liquid nano urea. 1. It is developed to reduce the requirement of conventional urea by at least 50%. 2. It was first developed by the Council of Scientific and Industrial Research. Which of the statements given above is or are correct? 1 only, 2 only, both 1 and 2 or neither 1 nor 2. The correct answer is option A, 1 only. Liquid nanourea is a urea in the form of nanoparticle. It is a nutrient liquid that provides nitrogen to plants as an alternative to conventional urea. Urea is a chemical nitrogen fertilizer, white in color, which artificially provides nitrogen, a major nutrient required by plants. It is developed to reduce the requirement of conventional urea by at least 50%. Hence, statement 1 is correct. It was first developed by the Indian Farmers and Fertilizer Cooperative, that is IFCO, in June 2021. Hence, statement 2 is not correct. Hence, option A is the correct answer. Next question is, which of the following are referred to as great apes? 1. Bornobo 2. Chimpanzee 3. Eastern Gorilla 4. Orangutans Select the correct answer using the codes given below. 1, 2 and 4 only. 1 and 2 only, 2, 3 and 4 only or 1, 2, 3 and 4. The correct answer is option D, 1, 2, 3 and 4. 
great apes belong to the taxonomic family hominidae within the primate superfamily hominoidea bonobo chimpanzee eastern gorilla western gorilla and orangutans are referred to as great apes due to their large size and human like features hence option d is the correct answer last question is consider the following statements statement 1 durga 2 stands for directionally unrestricted ray gun array 2 it is a lightweight directed energy weapon statement 2 it is developed by the council of scientific and industrial research which one of the following is correct in respect of the above statements both statements are correct and statement 2 is the correct explanation for statement 1 both statements are correct and statement 2 is not the correct explanation for statement 1 statement 1 is correct but statement 2 is incorrect or statement 1 is incorrect but statement 2 is correct the correct answer is option c statement 1 is correct but statement 2 is incorrect directionally unrestricted ray gun array that is durga 2 a lightweight directed energy weapon and aims to provide the indian armed forces with cutting edge technology capable of neutralizing various threats including drones missiles and artillery shells hence statement 1 is correct the drdo has sought 100 million US dollars from the Ministry of Defence for its development hence statement 2 is not correct hence option C is the correct answer now is the time for practice question consider the following statements about prasar bharti one it is a statutory autonomous body and the public service broadcaster of the country two its main objective is to provide autonomy to doordarshan and akashwani in order to educate and entertain the public which of the above statements is or are not correct only one only two both one and two or neither one nor two send the answer of this question in the comment section stay tuned for the next episode thanks for watching for more informative content like share and subscribe and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications